Okay, guys, so I am in Broward County down in Florida. Um, I have spent the last two days touring facilities. Yesterday, I spent the full day touring all of the prisons. Um, and today, I was able to get access to go into an actual, an actual immigration center that is here in, in Broward County. I'm gonna show you guys where I'm at. I am, I hope this is the most viral Periscope video that I do. I genuinely hope that every single person retweets this because what I have just seen, I am incensed, I am horrified, and I am angry, okay? Children are being mistreated in this country. They are not the children that are sent to ICE immigration centers, okay? They are the children that are in Chicago. They are the children that are in Baltimore. They are the children that are in Detroit. They are the children that are being ignored while the leftists drum up a bullshit narrative that these immigration centers are somehow harming people. Let me tell you what I just saw when I walked in there, okay? And I, by the way, I'm with an entire film crew. So I'm about to blow up this narrative in a way that the left is not expecting because they are filthy, disgusting liars. And I'm sorry that I am so angry right now, but what I just saw was astonishing, okay? This place is nicer than where I went to the public school system. I went to Stanford, Connecticut Public Schools. This place is like an elementary school. There are colors on the wall everywhere. There's a nursing station that is so clean and so nice where they dine. They're sitting down laughing, eating food. They have people that, are, that go to the counter that can participate. If they want, they can help cook if they want. Let me tell you what, what the activities they have here. I walked in on the woman that were in their arts and crafts session. They had just concluded their fucking Zumba class, okay? In the same room that they do their fucking Zumba, they also have to do their arts and crafts, okay? That's just for the woman's side. They're all welcome. There is a sand volleyball court. There is a sand volleyball court, which they are all welcome to play anytime that they want to in, in, this, in the center of the section. There are phones that line the entire place where there's a sand volleyball court a foosball table. What else did I see? Oh, there, there are pool tables. There's a soccer field, okay? Because in case they want to play soccer when they're outside, there should be a soccer field that is adjacent to the, the sand volleyball courts where they can play. They're all laughing. They're having a good time. And listen, I'm not saying that people that come here should not be treated well. That's not the argument here, okay? But these people are treated great. They are treated fantastically. Everything that I just saw there was somewhere, I thought I was touring a place to send my child to elementary school. And by the way, I would have sent my child to this elementary school, okay? This is an ICE facility in Broward County, the source of so much debate and anger, and everyone came down to Florida because the left did what they do best. They made up a fucking narrative that is completely false and untrue. This facility, like, what, what else was there outside? Basketball courts? What else is there? Oh, oh, I forgot the library, the library. So in case you're done playing soccer, okay? In case you're done playing volleyball, in case you've completed your Zumba class, in case you got off the phone with your mom, phones are open all day up until 11 o'clock PM, okay? And you go, hmm, what am I gonna do now? You are welcome to also go to the library where you have computers, where there are books. The library, unfortunately, is only open from 10 to 1 PM. So maybe that's what they're boycotting. Longer library hours is what they're boycotting to make sure if they have longer library hours would maybe be an honest debate being told by the left, okay? Aside from that, these people live, I'm not kidding, these rooms are nicer than my college dorm. I am a challenge right now to any politician that is saying to abolish ICE, a challenge for you to come into this with cameras, with me, and then we will go tour the hallways of where I went to high school, okay? where I went to college. These are nicer than my college dorm. My college dorm at the University of Rhode Island had cement blocks, okay? I lived in what was called Gorham. You could go see this today and fact check this. It was the size of literally what I imagined a prison cell would be, okay? This is at least triple the space, cleaner, and they do not have cement blocks. These are the exact equivalent to college dorms today. These people are being absolutely spoiled when they come into this country absolutely spoiled. They're all happy. They're laughing. They're having a good time I inside of their dorm rooms. They've got paper flowers and colors and, and dominoes. Oh, oh, oh my God, guys. And I forgot to mention there's a barber shop and a hair salon because I mean, when you're here, you should be able to get your hair done. 
So I literally toured the barber shop and the hair salon, which is another thing that they do. And if they want to, they can get their hair cut and colored and styled however they'd like to within the walls of an ICE immigration center. I usually don't rant like this. I'm usually not this angry, but today I am pretty infuriated. I am infuriated for the children of America who nobody gives a shit about on the left while they have their fake paid protesters that are pretending that people inside here are going through anything and it is nicer than any public school system, any public school facility that I have ever seen in my life. That is what the eye centers are. That is the truth. And I will be posting and doing a documentary on what is actually happening. Democrats, you should be disgusted with yourselves. You have caused mayhem, you have caused people to be protested, boycott, attacked, violently attacked because you randomly plucked something that wasn't happening. You knew that no one within those walls was going to say anything. And you didn't think that I would have the gall to come down here with the camera crew and to blow up all of your lies. It is coming to you soon. Every single person that is watching this feed needs to retweet this. Retweet this and blow up this Democrat lie. They are creating anarchy in this country based off of lies. These people are treated better than any of the kids that live in inner cities. What is it? Oh, 24 hour medical care. See, when I get sick, I have to go to the hospital. No, 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 24 hour medical care here. So after you get your hair cut, after you go to your Zumba class, after you played volleyball on your sand court, after you played soccer, and after you've read a book in the library, you can get the doctor to check you at any time that you want to make sure that you're okay. This is outrageous. What the left has done is absolutely despicable and outrageous. And I will be the loudest voice against them until their party has completely collapsed because they are funding mayhem and they are funding lies. Thank you guys, please retweet. I never know how to stop these broke, these freaking swipe.